I wanted to make a video to show some of the differences between the types of ESP8266 dev boards out there. First one on the left is by far the smallest and simplest. It's a Wi-Fi to serial adapter that can easily be used with Arduinos. It is unfortunately not breadboard friendly. As we can see here it has two rows of pin headers and something like that won't easily fit into a breadboard. You have to use jumpers, but it is quite tiny. If you have an existing Arduino based project, it's probably easy to go with. This is the Huzzah from Adafruit. And you can see it has two rows of pin headers. It does fit onto a breadboard pretty easily, and it's relatively small. There's no USB micro or USB adapter on here but it does have headers for serial connection using FTDI. So you can get a simple FTDI to USB adapter for about 10 bucks. If you do want to have USB power, you can easily get some of these USB micro breakout boards. I got a pack of 20 of them on eBay for about $4. They take a USB micro input and give you some breadboard compatible pins for output. If you put this on top of some female pin headers and solder this directly to your board, it can sit right up under here just like this. And this is the next one. It is a Node MCU. It's a little bit bigger. It does have a built-in USB micro connection, which is kind of nice. It's a little more convenient especially for programming since you don't need an extra cable. But otherwise it has fairly similar features. This is the last one. This is my least favorite. This is a Lowland board. It's a Node MCU style copy, but as you can see it is significantly larger and does not fit into a regular breadboard. You have to use two breadboards and squeeze it half and half. I mean it's pretty wide. It does have a built-in USB connector but the chipset doesn't seem to work too well for me. If it has trouble staying connected it has a serial connection so debugging is hard. So my top one favorite is the Huzzah. Actually that Node MCU. Here's a small breadboard so you can do it away test fit of them all. The Huzzah, as you see, takes up most of the board and does leave a row open on each side for connections. The next one, the Node MCU, again, takes up almost the entirety of the board, leaving a single row on each side. The last doesn't even fit. This last one takes up the entire board. Let's see, there's no space left for jumpers.